As an entry point into the metaverse, the XR industry attracts much attention. Based on 5G, edge computing, cloud rendering, large space positioning, and other core technologies, Intel, SkyLimit Entertainment, China Mobile, and ZTE continue to explore VR applications in Entertainment Park, which named Soreal. Now, Soreal Project has implemented world's first cross-region large space VR battle games via 5G private network. This is a milestone breakthrough of VR applications. It breaks the space limitations of VR application and takes the first step toward metaverse. In So Real Park, thanks to XR-oriented 5G network optimization, players only need to wear VR glasses without backpacks and enjoy a superior immersive experience of 80 megabits per second speed, less than 20 milliseconds latency, high image resolution of 4K and a stable frame rate at 60 frame per second. Besides, adaptive multi-layer distributed computing architecture enables dynamic cloud rendering deployments, saving hardware resources and the initial investment cost by 30%, making large-scale cross-region VR application possible. Now, so Real Project has nine major businesses, including XR Plus Paradise, XR Plus Technology Show, XR Plus Esports, XR Plus Olympics, XR Plus Museum, etc. There are 23 So Real Parks in 12 cities, including Shanghai Disneyland So Real Super Experience Space, Beijing No. 1 Blast Furnace So Real Metaverse Paradise, Leo Joe So Real Snail Paradise, etc. It is also the XR provider for Winter Olympics and Paralympic Olympics in 2022. By the end of this year, we will deploy 50 Soreal parks in 30 cities, then 400 in 2023 and 1,000 parks in 2024. In addition, we will gradually achieve remote interaction with all parks. Besides, Soreal Project has won the highest XR application award in China for two consecutive years. According to German statistics agency Statista, the revenue of XR market will reach 250 billion US dollars by 2028. Together with more partners, we will continue to expand the XR industry chain, promote the development of the digital consumption economy, and finally build a new ecosystem of digital economy and cultural innovation.